Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Last we left off, we uh, found some not so ancient ruins. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's hop into this. Bastard! Who cares about the symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Mm. That's right, it must be the key to open the door. It's probably set open when you type in the password. Yes, yes. Acting all high and mighty, so what's next? Obviously impossible to put the password without any hint. <laughs> Are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! Shut up, but we just type whatever we might get it right. Hold it. I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? Hmm, what do you mean dangerous? See? Because that thing next to the panel doesn't look like a gun. In fact, it's totally a gun. Gun? That's a gun? Oh. If that is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Yeah. Damn it. It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up. You do it then. Mm. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film? It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Mm. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? Um. You're both quiet. I'll beat you, up. you guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. No, I have no idea at all. <laughs> I don't know either. Um... For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. I won't be fooled. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Just show up and tell us some lousy lies. Um... You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Um... Ah, just as I thought. You guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, hey don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. Hey, I'm sorry. Eek, I'm sorry. Say you're sorry, bitch. Oh I just said it. I said sorry. I'm sorry. Is it possible that there's a connection between this door? And the reason this island is uninhabited. Ooh, air. For example, this place might be a shelter and there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up. Hmm, several possibilities crossed my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense, more essential than that. Huh? What are you saying? Hey! Um... For instance, even though Monami and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Ooh. Huh, you can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and Hey! Keep hey. your tongue in your mouth! My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that. Well, now. I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus meteor piece. This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island. Mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. <laughs> that's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day, you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> hmm, that seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white tanuki said before hey why are there 16 of you a total, if a total of 15 students from host peak academy were arranged to come to the silent that's right there's probably a traitor i don't even know about hiding among the group just kidding i know there's a traitor among us that's what that ugly tanuki said before fine fine ah calling me ugly anna tanuki those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest Hello? he's totally depressed yeah yeah i would say so <laughs> if there's a traitor they probably know how to open the door right uh, and there's probably a boat or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door <gasps> or maybe whoever is controlling Mon monokuma and monami is hiding there but... but do you really think there's a traitor among us no shit of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. That's... There, there isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. Hey, bastard. Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> you fiend. What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender. I'm the one asking the questions. Don't you just change the subject? Come on. I understand why you wanted to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no, the elementary school students would come up with yeah! it. 
But the name is unavoidable because the organization actually exists. So what is this organization? It's literally what it says. Those guys ended the world. Ended the world. Hey, um. That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them Waldender? So you mean they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists if they manage to win because they become heroes. <laughs> In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the, they're the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? So what? Don't say things like that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. Mm. Well, Dinder, are you saying that you and Monami are also members of that organization? Who knows? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this <gasps> island. Well, Dinder is behind it all. Are you kidding me? Why are you be being targeted by a horrifying organization Don't like that? Don't panic. Don't panic. It's just another made up story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want while I puff a cigar smoke at your lifeless body. <laughs> my, my, I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the heck? Ugh, if you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that into your various body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling you the truth. World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find the traitor and kill them dead. Hey, hey you better stop. I'm gonna punish you. Shut up, Monami. Big Brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. No, no don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. Monokuma and Monami departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? As there's anybody who understood what he was talking about. Um, Not a clue. Hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. After exploring the new island, we all we uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned the... That, reali that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender. I have no idea what's going on anymore. I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should get to sleep for now. <sighs> With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and close my eyes. I don't like this. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout egg. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try to make me overcoming come my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I'll never ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies. They're closer than you Please might think. Look forward to the next Monokuma Theater. Make sure you will be, guys be careful too. Bing bong. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Morning already, huh? Feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should go to the restaurant and eat something. Yes. Hotel set. 
I gun him. Stay back. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? How pitiful. The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Baifu and Teru Teru. But they are destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother's bosom or to burn in fires of Gehenna. Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible to pray that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. That guy is the same as usual. Um. Sorry, I feel such nostalgia for uh, the Japanese dishes my servants used to prepare. Your servants must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. However, my an army marches with its stomach. That being said, let us have breakfast. Good nom nom nomming! Good morning! Meow. Do you know how many O's I used? Who knows? <sighs> Whoa, there you cool your cool demeanor gives me the shivers. <sighs> you should talk about it more. You know, shoot me with your word arrows. Thinking about Bayakuya made me really sad, so I'm trying to super hard to stay upbeat. About Bayakuya? I see. That's right, I he see. may have had a piggy he may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome. It sounds easy to keep a promise till the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. Aww. If only he didn't have piggy fingers. Darn. That's so disappointing. <laughs> Now then, I'm off to the restaurant. Adieu. Ah, uh, she did have to say that last bit. Good morning, Nekomaru. What is it, Hajime? Do you need to talk to me about something? What's wrong? Are you so surprised about? Oh, no need to worry. I'll head to the restaurant first. Is just my imagination to seem weirder than usual? I feel like he's kidnapped somebody. Hey, Chica. Hey. Good morning. You're playing video games again this morning? Hmm. It's like whenever you find the time, you always come here, don't you, Chica? You think so? Chica. Chiaki. You think so? Hey. I know you like video games, but if you don't get out in the sun, you'll get sick. Come on! If you... And, you know, it's important to get to know the others better, too. Mm. Mm. Hey, hey! So let's play a game outside. I'm sure they have stuff like jump rope and bamboo copters in, at the supermarket. Huh? Jump rope, bamboo copter. Mm. Are those games, too? I don't get it. Come on! Then you can play with us after breakfast. Good deeds should be done quickly, as they say. Are you saying I have to join you too? Jeez. Uh, what's with that tone? If you don't want to come, you have, you don't have to join. Seriously, she's so bossy towards guys. Hmm. Jump rope, bamboo copter. The world is still overflowing with strange things. Yo. Yo, Hajime. Yeah. Good morning. Man, I'm starving. Let's hurry the hell up and get some food. Hmm. It's not that the restaurant has bad food, but compared to Teru Teru's food, it's pretty so-so. Those party dishes were seriously so good, and it was like I could eat as much as I wanted. Mm. I wanted to keep eating his food. I know. That's weird. Gah. Even like this isn't like me. I'm probably acting strange because I'm so hungry. All right, all right, all right I got it. All I gotta do is eat. You're not going to the restaurant, Mahiru? Ah, oh, sorry, I was just thinking about Teru Teru. What's going on? I know Manakuma said Teru Teru's mood was boring. But that wasn't boring at all. I mean, it's your mom. She's like your most important family member, you know? Yeah, I agree. Of course, that doesn't mean I can accept what Teru Teru did either. But... But still, if my family... Hey. I'm sorry, it's nothing. Even though I think what Teru Teru did was stupid, I'd be bad if I allowed Manakuma to influence me too. Obviously. That's right, I'm never going to follow Monokuma's orders. Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? 
But do you think about what? <laughs> All right, isn't it obvious that stuff he said about the traitor and the world ender? I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night of sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Oh, that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. Honestly. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of the baffling nonsense. What? I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No! No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance a worst case scenario... Impossible! Impossible. Even a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird! What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold! Of course, in fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. Huh? It cannot be! Tied up, you say? Um, could you refer to... Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito's a traitor. What about the other part where you said he was tied up and can't move? Oh, crap! Hey, Kazuchi, what should we do? Hey. Dumbass, don't rope me into this. They'll find out we were together too. Oh, crap. <laughs> you guys are both idiots. You. Hey, what does this mean? I mean... Well, you know... There's no we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Mm. Teru, Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? <laughs> so that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. Honestly. So that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. Um. How should I put this? He's a little creepy, and not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! He's not, he's not a little creep. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high he could sell tickets to see it. Good instincts. Hmm, that's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right, there's no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Fall, my tears. What they like and what they hate, what makes them happy, makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponent of all. Oh, Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. Hey! You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge of yourself. And? Anyway, where did you two tie up Nikita? Uh. The dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Bayakuya got killed. Mm. He needs to reflect on what he did in that place. <laughs> You're saying it's better to kill... Off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy. <laughs> yeah, you killed him? Oh, he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everybody's opinion. Hmm. Hmm. It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what I'm doing next. <laughs> he's also most likely the person to be the traitor. <laughs> so isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see. I if, see. if so, it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I wish you'd treat me more like an achievement. <laughs> uh, and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. Huh. Who are you calling tiny boy? Oh. What, you're here? Jeez. It figures you guys are messed up. I get it. Is that why you guys... Do. If you don't like your buddy, you corner them. Chish, look at your cheap acting all righteousness. Huh? What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh, didn't the shitty sheep all bleat at me? What did you say? Uh, it looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard! Try it if you dare, bastard. Shut up! Shut up! You can't threaten me, but I'm not scared. You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You're, you're just a pipsqueak without the Kuzuyoro clan backing you up. What did you say? What did you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. You bastard. I'll make sure you regret that later. Huh? What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um. Yuzuchi, let us stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. I can't... I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. <laughs> the future, huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Phew, on top of this island mysteries, now there's also Nigido and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, it's not just, it's just one thing after the other. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left for our respective cottages.
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to hit like and subscribe. That way YouTube brings you back for the next episode. I want you back here. You want to come back. This is entertaining. You wouldn't have clicked on the video and stayed this long if you didn't find it entertaining. So I hope you'll come back to see the next episode. Anyway, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go.